Who goes there? Oh. <laughs> are you lost, human? Or are you looking for something? <laughs> it's not all too uncommon for wanderers to get lost and show up in my lair. Why, yes, I am a Limea. How perceptive of you. What gave it away? Was it my fangs, my piercing eyes, or did my massive coil tip you off? I know what you're up to. Lousy weather to be hunting me, though. Oh, you're not. I guess that explains why your face is so... Hmm, painted with shock. Nice try at hiding it, by the way, but yes, humans don't exactly respond very enthusiastically to my kind. But of course, you're just out for a stroll, all armored up and with your sword out. Hmm, patrolling. Sure, I suppose the storm caught you off guard. And you're looking for shelter in my cave? Thought so. I guess I could allow it. Wouldn't want to be responsible for a severe cause of frostbite. But, I have to say, the way you refuse to look at me, it's making me a bit uncomfortable. My eyes are up here, you know. It's not particularly polite to stare at my big tail. Even if you are impressed by it. <laughs> oh, hypnotize you. How rude. First of all, not all limas can actually do hypnosis. And second of all, it's not as if we're just going to go around hypnotizing everyone we meet. It's not because we can do it. Just because we can do something, it doesn't mean we have to do it all the time. How stereotypical for you to assume. <laughs> I mean, you've got a sword, and you clearly know how to use it. That has to mean that you're planning on using it. Should I be begging you for mercy now? <sighs> oh, no. That's different, is it? You humans get to strut around with your fancy armor and your terrifying swords, trying to casually strike fear into the hearts of those you consider lesser. And of course, that's completely fine. You can just barge into my home with your weapon out, and I should not mind at all, because you're a human, you can be trusted not to use your weapons on random strangers, completely unlike those dastardly snake ladies. You should never even meet to their eyes. They can hypnotize people with them, you know. They just can't help it. No self-restraint whatsoever. Just give in to their instincts of trying to dominate others. Am I right? That's the problem with you humans. You think you're so much better than everyone else. That you're the only ones that are truly sentient. I don't want your damn apologies. I want you to look me in the eyes. Treat me like an actual living, breathing person, instead of some kind of monster without a hint of self-control. <sighs> hmm. There you go. Oh, what a surprise. Your mind isn't melting. No mesmerizing spirals. No explosions of color. Just a pair of bright green eyes. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, you're so brave for looking at me, human. <sighs> Thank you. I do appreciate it. I guess I don't mind you staying here. Then, perhaps it would be wise if I apologize for my outburst. As you can imagine, Frustration grows when you've had previous experience of these kinds of situations. So, human, 
I do genuinely apologize for my outburst. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable while you take refuge, and please do not think you are a burden either. Hmm, it's a good thing you found shelter in time. You know, the storm lords really seem to have it out for you people with shiny armor. <laughs> Whenever he's throwing a tantrum, anyway. Mm-hmm. I've seen it before. He just seems to single them out and strike them down with lightning. Well, no matter what, you are safe here. Say, hey, would you mind if I got a bit closer? It feels strange to talk to you from a distance. And... I don't get the opportunity to have a chat all the time. As you can imagine, living here can get quite lonesome. You don't mind? Hmm, thank you. You're nicer than most humans that I've met. And, um, let me settle down right next to you. <laughs> so... Lousy weather, huh? <laughs> yeah, it can be quite unpredictable around these parts. One moment it's a nice enough day, and the next it's like the sky is falling down. Storms like these tend to last for hours, too. I wouldn't be surprised if it kept going well into the night. It's such a hassle when you're caught outside. But when you're... Nice and dry. Somewhere safe. I kind of like it. The sound of the rain. I mean, there's just something so soothing about it. So relaxing. And it is so much better with some company. Just sitting together, listening to the rain. You've got nice eyes, you know. They're kind. <laughs> you like my eyes too? Thank you. That's nice to hear and quite a compliment too. I've always liked the color of my eyes. Hmm. It's different from before. <laughs> That's just a trick of the light. You should look more carefully. You're absolutely sure. Come now, really? Look a little closer. My eyes are green, right? Or was it blue? Gold, perhaps? Shh. It doesn't matter. What matters is that they're fascinating. Mesmerizing, even. And that it just feels so good to look into my eyes. Yes, you want to keep looking into my eyes. At the pretty colors swirling around and around. Mmm, that's it. Just let yourself... <sighs> that was loud. That woke you up again, didn't it? <sighs> yeah, I figured. Just my luck, the storm lord striking so close. <sighs> and I got you good, too. Just a few more seconds, and I'm sure not even that would have woken you up anymore. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to do it again. I mean... Now that you've already looked into my eyes for so long, it'll just take me a second to put you under the spell again. Lied? What makes you think that? I never said I wasn't going to hypnotize you, did I? I don't have to do it. I just want to. Now do me a favor and look into my eyes. Oh, so close. You nearly did it. 
Don't be so stubborn. You know you want to. It felt good to look into my eyes, didn't it? <laughs> Such grim determination on your face. But you're still looking at me. You can see the colors dance on the edge of your vision. You can feel the pull of my eyes. So just look at... <laughs> Well done. I didn't think you'd manage to close your eyes in time. That was really close, though. <laughs> so, what's your plan now? Are you hoping I'm so foolish to get close enough for you to hit me? <laughs> I've heard of you, human knights. Of your skills. I know you could probably beat me to a pulp with your eyes closed. On flat ground, that is. But... On this rocky underground, I'm pretty sure I can manage to keep my distance from that wicked sort of yours, at least. Yeah, you're not moving from that spot, are you? Mm -mm, that seems like we're at an impasse, then. So I have to ask you again, what's your plan now? Are you just going to stand there like a buffoon, waving your sword around? Oh, so you just want to wait out the storm, do you? Oh, yes, that's all right then. Sure, go ahead. Why wouldn't I want a heavily armed human around me while I'm sleeping? Oh, I know you don't want to do any harm to me. I mean, you said so, didn't you? I trust you, human. I really do. You just make yourself nice and comfortable and I will leave you be. Besides, you've got to sit down at some point, right? That sword looks heavy. Aren't your arms getting so tired? Holding that heavy thing up. Yeah, I can see that they are. And all of that armor you're wearing, it must be so heavy too. Yeah, you must be getting so tired and sore. You can't keep standing like this for hours and hours. It would be so exhausting. You might as well sit down now, right? There's no point in putting it off. Nothing's going to change. And right here is a perfect place to sit down. Yes. Just sit down and relax. There you go. That's much better, isn't it? Yes. It feels so much better to sit down. To let go of all that tension and just relax. And listen to the rain for a while. And you can listen to my voice, too. You can focus on it. It's so calming. So soothing. So nice to listen to. Just relax. Listen. And breathe. That's it. <laughs> Standing up again? What for? Were you getting drowsy and sleepy? There's nothing wrong with that. You can just take a little nap. Let you leave? <laughs> what happened to seeking shelter from the storm? Changing your story now that it turns out I'm not such an easy prey. Hmm. I'm not keeping you here. You were the one who barged into my home, and you can leave at any time. <laughs> just open your eyes and walk away. Or, you know, you can try to find your way out with your eyes closed too. If it makes you feel any better, it'll be more amusing to watch you stumble about for sure. Hmm, <laughs> no, you're going in the wrong direction. 
<laughs> yes, I am going to hypnotize you if you do. <laughs> Human, it's raining like crazy out there. Even if you actually leave, you won't be going far. I want to go to sleep again, but I don't want a heavily armed man around me while I do. Hmm. So either go out there and get pummeled by the rain, maybe have a little accident on the slippery rocks, or open your eyes and let me hypnotize you. <laughs> yeah, you already said that you mean me no harm. Why don't you let me prove it then? Let me hypnotize you. Let me put you to sleep. You can be on your way again in the morning, I promise. Look. Would you rather make your way through the mountains, tired and exhausted, or well rested? You should be sleeping anyway. What does it even matter if I put you to sleep? You're asking me to trust you in my home, and I'm asking you to trust me in return. Trust me. Let me make you sleep. Let me hypnotize you, alright? Good. I'm glad you're finally seeing reason. Then open your eyes for me. Please? Open your eyes and look into mine. Oh, that's it. Watch the pretty spirals. Look at the pretty colors. Washing over you. Washing your mind clean. Making it all nice and empty, just like that. You know, I am going to put you to sleep. And you, you are going to do everything I tell you to. <laughs> Don't bother trying to fight it. It's already much too late for that. The only thing you can still do is sing. That's right. Sink. There we go. Can you hear me, human? Good. Then put your sword away and give it to me. Very good. Now follow me. Here we are, my lair. It's a little more cozy than a damp cave, don't you think so? <laughs> Oh, that's right. You're not thinking anything at all right now. But that's fine. You don't need to. You only need to do as I ask. <laughs> so, strip. Do it. Your armor, your shirt, breeches. <laughs> Take it all off. Everything but the loincloth. <laughs> oh. Good job, such an obedient little human. Now go ahead and lie down. Right there. Oh, perfect. Let's get you all coiled up. Oh, so warm and toasty. And such soft skin, too. <laughs> so nice. Now, human. I want you to <laughs> hold my hand. <laughs> this is so nice. <sighs> Why don't you listen to my breathing for a bit, human? And you can just let yourself drift off to sleep. <sighs> oh, it's so nice being with you. Oh. Actually, maybe I should warn you, I sleep for, well, ten hours a time, by the way. I'll release you in the morning, so you don't need to worry. Just let me steal all of your warmth and get so unbelievably close to you. 
I can wrap my arms around you, have you in my loving embrace. It feels nice to let go of it all and just accept what's happening to you. You are so good for listening to me, for giving in. The sensation of being under is just so pleasant and tingly, isn't it? It's fun trying to resist the inevitable, but you're mine, all mine for tonight, and I shall cherish every little moment. Feeling over your hard body, your muscles. <laughs> This is my reward for being so patient for a prey to come along. <laughs> you just relax completely. Keep your head against my chest. So 